Hello, in this video, I am going to show you the ASCII system in assembly. Then you're going to be C++, it's going to be assembly, obviously. So, for example, if I create this race, or I move this value into a race, so I'm going to move 65 into it, then I'm into var1, I'm going to move the value from the ESP register, and I actually need to create the variable var1, so section.bss. If you want to know more about variables, feel free to check out those videos. So var1, resp4, and now, instead of printing out hello, it's going to print out var1, and the length I'm just going to do as, uh, I'll do length 5. So you might be thinking, why is it printed out A instead of 65? And that is because when you try and print something out, you will print it out like essentially as a string. And 65, if we go to the ASCII table, refers to the uppercase A. 97 refers to the lowercase A. So you just add 32 from the uppercase to go to the lowercase character and you know vice versa. So if I change this to 97 and run it, we get a lowercase A. And you know, there, all of the symbols are here. So if I put 63 in, for example, 63, we get a question mark. So that is the ASCII system, and that is how you would use it within assembly. Honestly, there's not much more to it than that. You can obviously combine it with you know the other videos by creating other variables, by having conditions, comparisons, loops, all of that stuff. Feel free to do that as an extra task. I recommend that you get some of the code from the other videos try and combine it into some sort of mini, mini application if you have any questions though i'm always here feel free to pop me a message and i will assist you and i look forward to seeing you in the next video